Hi, I'm Steve Shelburne, owner and operator of Shelburne RV here in beautiful Cleveland, Tennessee. So we got Mr. Lewis over here working on this uh, shower trailer and we're adding an air conditioner to this. So we've got the hole cut out and then Manny has cut some nice metal duct work and I'll take you around and show you that. And it's gonna distribute that between the showers. So let's go around here and look at that and I'll show you kind of what we got going on here and what they're doing. So Mr. Lewis is over here getting all this cut out. Going through the bays right there. This thing's got four showers in it. And I'll get some duck work and we'll show you the duck work they meant to go through that. Okay, so the customer supplied us this metal. And so Manny's gone in here and bent it and made the duck work out of that. Now to go through the ceiling. And then once he gets all that in there, we've got some vents for the for the just distribute the air out of it. So he's got that ready to go in there. So we get doing this some more, I'll show you some more. All right, good morning. Got a few things we're gonna get going on this morning. We got this fifth wheel right here we're gonna pull out. Uh, that one right there just got done having some awning toppers on there. I got Wade coming down with the truck right now to pick that up. And we're gonna get that moved out of here and get rolling with our next project. We've got a uh, fifth wheel that we've got to do some, a lift kit on. And primarily we're doing this one for, and I don't know if you can see it right there. Look who, look who showed up today. It's the Gimpy Camper. So we're gonna be working on his camper today, working on getting a uh, lift kit. We're gonna do a two inch lift kit on his, uh, his camper today. So we're gonna get rolling on that here in a few minutes and shooting some video and getting that installed. So here we go. All right, so I got all my campers moved out here. So we're gonna get set up now to start doing our lift on the Gimpy Campers uh, camper out here. You can see he's over here. We got all our parts. We've got it all laid out. So we're gonna go out here now and get everything, everything going and see what we can get done. So we got the Gimpy Camper pulled in right here. And so we're gonna be doing a two inch lift because he's having some issues with, um, not only is the camper not running level down the road on his truck but because he's got a little bit of a four-wheel drive truck but also um it's kind of getting into the bed when he's going through some of the turns at the campgrounds so we're going to get in here I've, I've cut some uh two inch square blocks capped them on the ends and well you can see the video when we get it done uh gimpy camper he'll have a link in our video where you can go in there and watch the video but we're going to get going on that and then uh, you can check out the video after a while all right, coming in here to get a couple of my things done. And look who I found standing in here. The Gimpy Camper. Got your Christmas present a little bit late. Oh, Gimpy man. Camper shirt. Everybody's got to have a Gimpy Camper shirt. I might even have to get one to put on old Cousin Gary right there. But, uh, yeah, might have to have one. Yeah, see there? That's, there you go. You guys need to, you guys need to mess and hit, hit him up. <laughs> hit him up for a couple Gimpy Camper shirts. I'm sure he'll be happy to to sell them to you at the, at the low price of at least $29.95. <laughs> at least $29.95, right, Barrett? Yeah. <laughs> All right, very good. Thanks, Barrett. Appreciate you stopping by today. So we got the Shelburne sponsored race trailer over here. Got an inner fender that broke loose, so we're gonna get that pushed back in and weld it here in just a minute. They're getting me set up on that so I can weld it. Well, let's go over here on this shower trailer and see what kind of kind of work mr lewis is getting done on here we looked at those yesterday those are the new duct work that they're going to put in the ceiling looks like they've got and yeah, they've got some of it already put up now obviously we're going to cut in some vents right here to get the air moving through here so they've got those got those installed right there but lewis is over here right now working on getting the air conditioner mounted up underneath this thing so let's see what he's got going on over here Let's see what you got going on here, Mr. Lewis. Looks like he's got his his framework built up inside there. Got the air conditioner already mounted. Uh, discharge, which is right here. We're gonna duct 
these pieces in to the ductwork that you see right there. So that feeds one side, this feeds the other side. And then if they want a little air down in here because of the dryers that are running, they can open these lower ducts up on this Coleman, Coleman assembly. So yeah, he's got all that framed up and that's looking good, so. All right, just got done with the lift kit on the Gimpy Camper. You can see him leaving out right there. So we got him finished up. I know the boys have been over here working on a few things. I've been busy trying to get that under control. Let me take you around. We'll show you this uh, shower trailer Lewis has been working on. So got the shower trailer over here and they've got everything wired up and he's got the duct work nicely put in there. They're working on getting the rest of the ceiling assembly put in there. Made that nice little sticker right there down at Shelburne RV Mobile and Printing. I got a print shop down there, so we printed all that out. That turned out nice. And then over here on the other side, you can see they've got the duct work with the vents in there. Has good airflow coming through it. We tested it out a little while ago. But now they've got a way to get cold air in each one of those, each one of those shower rooms. So that looks awesome. Let's go around here and look at another one I got at work. We'll walk over here. Got this little AR1 you see right there. They were doing a seal tech test on it. Had some leaking going on around the front window. So they've been working on trying to get that done. And then while I was working on the Gimpy Camper, we've got this big Monaco right here with floor issues so they got the floor got the slide out of that gonna do the floor so let's go in here and see what they got going on on that we'll take a quick look at that of course the 67 airstream we're doing the renovation on they've got it out doing some work on it but let's go in here and see what they got going on with this floor all right yeah, a little bit so we've got this well got that this in here corner there yeah. you can see where this material has started coming loose and we've obviously got water damage inside this so it's got a we're going to pull all that out and rebuild all that so yeah good time so more to come here in a little bit so we got the floor out of this big dipper mat what's interesting about this monaco actually put the floor in and then screwed the floor in before they put the before they put the wall together so all this was done in here before they put the wall together so there's no screws on the outside they weren't ever planning on this floor ever having to come out and again if the customer had maintained that seal right there water would have probably never got in this area and we'd never be doing this another reason why to have your camper inspected and maintained guys very costly repairs. Wait, I'm listening to you. Brandon, talk to me. Come forward. Come forward. Down. Way down. Way down. Way down. Way down. Way down. Tilt down or lower down? That side's up. That side's down. Hey, right, push. You can push the room in, right? Can, can y'all push? Y'all push the room in. There you go. That's one board. Foot. There you go. Come on. All right, Brandon, stand on that floor. Don't let it fall out. So good morning out here with the mobile RV guys this morning. Came out here to work on a on a uh, Ventura RV sport trek. The arm that pulls the slide in and out has the weld broke loose on the arm. And so actually came out here this morning with our mobile welding trailer uh, to get this welded back up here. So let's go in here. I'm gonna show you a couple things uh, that I'm seeing. All right, so I've got my, got my, my suitcase welder set up here crawl up under here and see what we got going on 
you can see where the bracket has broke loose here, but I'm gonna show you something that I've never seen before. I don't know how much I really like it, but typically there's a gear track welded to the I-beam of this thing. Um, and we have in cases cut that track off and replaced the track when it was wore out. But this one here is just a I-beam that they've crinkled the ends up on. So it's kind of interesting. I don't know how much I like that because now it's just a whole part replacement. But this is what we're dealing with here. Got the bracket has broke loose. So we're gonna get this all ground up and then I'm gonna see if I can weld this back on. All right, so got that bracket welded top and bottom now. So that should never happen again. So now we just gotta run it in and test it. All right, so I got the mobile service guys welded up. Everything's good on it. Slide runs in and out, just kind of a bad design. I don't know, they hardly ever welded that thing. So it was gonna break from the factory, so. But we got a good weld on it, it's all fixed up. So I'm heading back to the shop. I got some stuff I gotta do there. All right, over here on a max light, we're doing a quick roof inspection. And as you can see, somebody has been up here with 100% silicone sealing this roof. And this is what I was talking about in my last video. See how they've got in here with the 100% silicone? Look at this. Look at this. This is why we don't do this. There is no sealant value to that right there. This stuff is not designed to do what they were trying to do with. So this comes back to what we were talking about. Got to use the right products. Okay, been working on the floor on this Monaco Diplomat back here. And we got everything glued down and it is now on there so had a little bit of trouble bending that edge right there but we were able to get that so tomorrow we're gonna get this thing put back in here but while we had it apart the uh norcold 1200 refrigerator had a bad cooling unit so cousin gary got that all changed out yesterday and tested and run and then we had a little bit of a problem with the hot water heater which turned out to be a bad control board so we're going to be putting that slide in tomorrow so we'll get some video of us doing that so manny and james have been out here working on this big american eagle changing out the the bad big boy contactor and a control board which is buried way back in there so they've been working on that this morning getting that under control We've had a few other items. We've been working on this big, big Alpine right there, trying to get some, got some slide out toppers put on it, doing that. Let's go around and look at a few other things. So Mr. Lewis has been working on this Vista Class A right here. And customer had a little problem with the hot water heater. So we actually changed them out with this brand new Suburban IW60 on-demand hot water heater. Now this, is probably the premier product in my book as far as hot water heaters go. Um, constant hot water for anything you wanna do. Um, they make different doors to fit with different manufactured hot water heaters. This one had a Atwood in it originally. So of course you just buy the door with the Atwood cover and then exhaust pipe. And then on the inside here, Lewis, I'm fixing to mess your nice sweeping job up in here. Um, where did you guys end up mounting the controller on this one? It's right here. <clears throat> so IW60 control center mounted right here on the wall. Control that. But they got that all done, turned out real nice. But if you're looking for a good quality on-demand hot water heater, Suburban IW60 is the way to go. So like Mr. Lewis is over here working on some plumbing buried back in this fifth wheel. What's got going on, Mr. Lewis? Uh, just replacing a valve. Ah. Well, buried in there, ain't it? Yep. Let's go over here and see what Mr. James is working on. He's got a like a 10K W generator over here, putting a belt on. Of course, the beauty about Cummins is you got to strip all the parts off to get to anything. So he's pulling all the covers off at the moment. It's got a rear belt on the water pump that's timed out and ready to be changed out. So. This is a big American Eagle. They were changing out the disconnect on yesterday, so they got that all done. Just putting the bracket back on? Uh, yeah, it's actually got that in on for a while. I'm just 
finish it up before we flip it. All right. Very good. All right, had this little uh, 2017 retro come in. This thing looks pretty cool. Pretty neat how they did all this, but go go inside and show you what's going on. So obviously got a little bit of water damage going on there, which possibly could have been coming in and out of the shower. I don't know, maybe. But this is the real problem. So under further investigation, um, this is not a vacuum bonded floor. It's just a piece of, just a wood floor. And then it's got, you can't really see it, but see if I can show it to you. That's just the plastic basket weave, basket weave material that we see on the bottom of most slide outs. And so what's happened is water being slung off the wheels and all the water coming up under here is just wicked in and completely ruined this floor, both sides. So what a mess. So we got to quote out repairing the floor, fixing that and not sure quite how we're going to do that yet. Either wrap the metal, wrap some metal on the bottom and seal it all or how we're going to do that. But you can see that's a bad deal. Well, they got the slide in that big diplomat right now. So I'm over here putting fuel in the fire of breathing dragon. It's that time of year where it's just cold all the time. So getting these all fueled up while they're doing that. And we're gonna go in here and I'll show you what they're doing on getting all the fascia put on that uh, big diplomat here in just a minute. I'm out here to show you guys what they're doing on this floor on this diplomat. And look at there, cousin Gary. He does know how to drive. Getting some campers moved around here. But Brandon's up out here working on this big diplomat, so let's go see. Now that they got the slide in here, we'll see what they got going on with the fascia. Yeah, they're still working on that, but they've got it in and they've got all the fascia to put back together. So let me show you what's going on here since we got all this back in here now. You guys can see this. So they've got the bracketry back on and you can see how nice that is with that metal that we've got going on there so that's going to turn out real nice so got all that on there still need to put the lower fascia on and then the uh, wind awnings and we had some sealing issues across that bar so we're going to go ahead and clean all that reseal all that top of the windows need to be sealed so we're going to make sure this whole uh, slide is sealed up and ready and then I think they're gonna do a roof seal on that one. That's why they're pushing it back there to get it warmed up. But that's what we got going on and Cousin Gary driving. All right, so he's got all the fascia on now, all the fascia's up and got the couch back in. So everything's looking good on that. So let's see what else he's got going on. I think he's working on the wiring out here. Oh yeah. Getting all the wiring wired up there, but we still got a seal around the wind and put the awning, the wind awnings back on. So that's where we're at on that. Well, that'll finish us up this week at Shelburne RV. Hope everybody has a great weekend. See if we can find cousin Gary still wearing a gimpy camper shirt. But remember this video is cousin Gary approved. Thank <laughs> you.